this guy. So my plan is to get the head. So turn the head. Well, I have a stick. Well, so this is basically the new sketch. So I'm going to basically turn the head to make it more, instead of it looking upwards, it's going to look like straightforward. And here's the rough size estimate I think the two figures are going to be when you compare both of them. So yeah, I'll be making this. And also I did another concept. This is for like if they ever do a Scar King figure. And I'll be getting that and that one. But yes, um, as you can see, I kind of changed the dorsal fins. But on this custom, I will not do that. So, and the custom I already done is up here. But however, this is before I actually painted and made it. I don't have the footage of me actually cutting. Like taking it apart with screws and then cutting the head off and then screwing the body back together except from the head. I don't have that footage, sadly, because I did that off camera. But yeah, but I used a hot glue gun for the neck, basically. Originally, I did use Millipotty, but it was a bit too tacky. So I decided to use a hot glue gun instead. And the end result is perfect, in my opinion. So, now I will show you the sort of the process. Alright guys, so what... Now I added the... Oh, sorry. I had to take the head off. Simply, I added the jaw piece. But now I, I basically got a toothpick... And then I just put the toothpick in the mouth, in the head. So now the jaw can move independently. Right. And now the jaw won't flinch around. So that's definitely an improvement. But yeah, I will be painting the neck, the head. Oh, the... I'll probably be adding the head like that. Or either more downwards like this. And then I'll... Yeah, so I'm thinking about like getting the hot glue gun. Putting the hot glue or millipuddy in the back of the head here. And then just for that to dry so yeah so he has more of a face forward head but the issue is will the jaw still open and close and then i'll paint that little wooden stump or i'll use the hot glue gun just to bounce a little bit of glue and then paint that black <laughs> so yeah i've got many options but yeah i will show you the figure when it's fully done all right, this is almost the finished product because now I sculpted the head more upwards. Uh, yeah. Uh, is the head center? Yes, it is. So I made a taller figure. I will just maybe just sculpt a bit more. But yeah, I would say that's a huge success. Very huge success. But yes, once it dries and hardens, I will paint it. I will paint it a black colour. And then I will show you the finished figure by tomorrow when I paint this thing. But yeah. So, um, hi everyone, D2 here. I just wanted to show off the almost finished progress 
I still need to paint a bit more on this guy. Like, but yeah. I trimmed the neck sides so it looks more straightforward. There is still some spots I need to paint, like here, there, and there. But however, um, yeah. I'm probably going to file it down a bit. So like... There's a bit. So... But I can now move the mouth independently without pressing the button. The button is now just a sound. As now the mouth can move independently. And how did I do that? Basically, I made a hole through the jaw. Then I put a toothpick. Yeah, you could see the toothpick. I'm probably going to paint over that bit of the toothpick. If I could get it to focus. But yeah, I'm going to paint over that. I painted the roof of the mouth, as you could see. I painted the roof. And yeah, um, so he is... Now I think he's about 8 inches. So if I get my Kong, a size scaling, my Playmate's 6 inch Kong. Um, so now they are both, now Godzilla is bigger than Kong. Well, slightly more taller. And this is more accurate to the movie, Godzilla vs. Kong, where if you... Remember, Godzilla was bigger. Now, in some scenes, they look same, similar sizes, but but in but majority of the movie, Godzilla was definitely bigger and he was taller. It looks better long distance. Like you could definitely tell the size difference. And if we turn Kong around, and Godzilla, you could tell. They are two separate sizes. Now we got there. Now you could definitely tell that these two are definitely in more accurate scale to the movie. And this is probably my first ever f successful custom figure. It's not perfect, but I like it enough for it to be considered a success. To me, this is a success. So, yeah. Um, I may do more customs in the future, but time will tell. But yeah, thank you all for watching.